and maybe smiles and says, have a good day, and he goes. And sometimes that's how we should be, just God's male men and male women and do what he asked us to do. I would think that it would be unwise and unfair for my male man not to show up. Why? Because it was raining. Why? Because the sun was hot. Why? Because it was snowing. Why? Because they were tired. Why? Because... You know, you want your mail because you say that there's something unexpected in the mail. There's something urgent. And so the same way you want the mailman to do his job is the same way other people and God Almighty expects us to just ask to do what he asks us to do and leave the results to his loving kindness, his mercy, his truth. Because, I said last week, there is a phrase we have, and this is how the phrase goes, God reveals to redeem. He reveals so that he will redeem. He does not reveal to destroy. He does not reveal to expose. As a matter of fact, he reveals so that he can give a chance for a redemption, a returning, a repentance, and a setting back on our cause. But Jonah thought he could hide. So he said, I'm going to run from the presence of God. Maybe you listening to me, you are thinking like that. Maybe you've actually tried it. You know that there is something that really beats in your heart every day. Something you know you're supposed to be doing. Something you know maybe you can do or you can say or you can give or you can write that will bring peace, joy, and truth and could possibly be even the last part of a jigsaw that will tell the whole truth but you are sitting down and you're thinking if I say this they will say I'm bad I am a hater or like we say in Gambian language you're a Jew guy no because your conscience should either excuse you or condemn you in life and the worst thing that can happen ladies and gentlemen is for our consciences to condemn us the worst thing that can happen I believe is when everybody is clapping for you but your conscience is eating you up because where you should have said yes, you said no. And where you should have said no, you said yes. And maybe in doing so, you cost somebody's life, perverted justice, or you did something unethical, ignoble, and you caused some pain upon a person's life, albeit even a family. And so let's look at Jonah. He decides he's going to run from the presence of God. He takes a ship in the opposite direction. He pays the fare. And the Bible says that he went into the lower parts of the ship and he slept fast asleep, almost saying that I'm going to drown out this thing. So when I wake up, it will be a dream. Let me continue in verse 4. It says, but the Lord sent out a great wind on the sea. And there was a mighty tempest on the sea so that the ship that he took was about to be broken up then the sailors were afraid and every man cried out to his god and threw the cargo that was in the ship into the sea to lighten the load but jonah had gone down into the lowest parts of the ship had lain down and was fast asleep so the captain came to him they obviously found him and said to him what do you mean O sleeper, arise, call on your God. Perhaps your God will consider us so that we may not perish. These are some of my thoughts here. Not every calamity we see is as a cause of a natural disaster. Not every calamity we see is as a cause of maybe a demonic or a satanic influence. Sometimes it's sheer, plain disobedience you knew what to do I knew what to do we all knew what to do but we refused to do it and as I said last week I want to repeat myself you know my thoughts are that if God is who he is and I believe he is and out of chaos and darkness he created this world he spoke light and light became light he made the Sun the moon and the stars 
He created vegetation. He put sea and land, created boundaries. He brought animal life. He did everything. And then the scriptures say he created us in his image and after his likeness. And then he put us in the garden of Eden and he planted a beautiful garden. He had all kinds of trees for our welfare. And then he gave us charge. I don't think he did that so we can just run the way we want. I think there must be some amount of accountability and living our lives based on God's purpose, regardless of our sense of free will and choosing. And so I think that there was no way Jonah could be hiding. There was no way he could be running. So if it had to take God to ask a wind, a tempest, a violent storm that sometimes accompanies hail, storm, rain, and snow, to shake the sheep so that you would do what you do, he would do it. And sometimes, unfortunately, maybe other people's lives are involved because if Jonah did not repent, that sheep would have sunk and everybody would have died. It was so violent that they decided to throw the cargo overboard. If it was a sheep of our day, there would be containers with your car, with your furniture, with everything, your goods, your bags of rice, your oil, and everything would be thrown overboard to lighten the load. It was not a weight problem. It was a rebellious prophet problem. It was a disobedient problem. It was not um, the demons. It was not the genies. It was not the evil spirits. It was not that the, the meteorological office did not read um, what was going to happen. It was God trying to show man that what I ask you to do, make sure you do it. Because your life touches so many people. And at the end of the day, God must have his way. I'm going to stop here in part three, and we'll continue from here in part four, and just build the story. But just remember that ultimately you answer to God. I answer to God for yourself and for myself. And if that is true, which it is, then it means that there are certain things that God has asked us to do. Do not look at people's faces. Do not be afraid of them. Man is just man like you. Follow your conscience. Follow what God nudges you in your heart, and do it, but do it properly and let God be glorified. Have a good evening. God bless us all and good night. Dahnda, <laughs> Nyingga Niki so de kek mom muy sa dom wax deug yalla da nga def ci mom du bari waye nak dafa am bes bo xamne bu joté bokk yi ño lay jappalé lu tax ñu dajé moy waxtané mbiri dekk bi ciosan lé jaxlé yi fi nek ak yépp ak niñ doon dundé bu jakk nañ sakku jamma nañ sakku jamma nañ sakku jamma wallahi bu sakku wut jamma lépp luñu am da nañ ko ñaan lel dafa am woy yo xamne buñ ko doon woy rek la xam woy bi lum tekki ñu jox la ay pousin yo xamne bo ñewé ci legi bu ma yone ci ki ci maadi legi suma agge ci negam amna nu way fekke dalam yi mo may wax ne bismillah wala wal bulbul